a lot of time that people say, what are you doing? Ah, ah art? Uh, what does it mean? What are you doing? You're painting? You don't mm, paint. uh, now yeah, I paint sometimes, but I also do this and that, and then you have to explain that, okay, and this is a job. My name is Julio Rölle. My name is Sebastian Bagge. And together we are the artist duo 44 Flavors. We are actually working um, in between design and art. And we met while we were studying together in Bielefeld. It was 2003? Yeah, I think we started even one year before. before yeah. 2003 was, was the first project together. So I think yeah. we are getting to the 20 years soon. Like we work almost 20 years together. <laughs> it's amazing. A lot of people oh. asking us, hey, who is doing what actually? Mm -hmm. And for us it was just not important. For us it was important to be a team and to support each other and to also make some, everything under the same flag. Oh. 44 Flavors as a name was perfect for us. It was started as a magazine project and at some point it was a sort of a, a shield that we could also um, get out to protect ourselves. It, it was just like a really comfortable space in which we could um, move forward. Yeah. It was the right name for us in the right moment and now, yeah. It's now we grew into it, no? Yeah, yeah. Maybe uh, we, we raw together, but it's the, the, the leg is not just straight, but we know the rhythm of both of us. And that's why it's always flowed and come together, but yeah. That's a nice it's metaphor. A, yeah, I was the uh, first time against thinking about Sitting in the same boat. Yeah, sitting, yeah we're sitting in the same boat. <laughs> I think we, from the beginning, we are always really open for everything. Always really interested in material, in different material. The screen printed stuff was not on paper in the beginning, it was on, on canvas, on fabrics that we found on, on a flea market or on second-hand shops and we, we print on it. It was um, always yeah, maybe a big collage or assemblage and there was not a point that we say hey, this is only print or only typography. It was always in a different direction. <laughs> Maybe there were times where we actually discussed a lot and so on, but I would say the last 10 years it's pretty safe, like we know each other more and more and we know what we want, but maybe maybe now in an interview it's the right time to, <laughs> to dis discuss these things. Hey, are you actually mega angry? <laughs> We were super lucky to be able to be invited there um, by Artika Svalbard, which um, is this art foundation. And the curator back then, a friend of ours, Ellie, she invited us. And for me, I would say that this is like definitely on my top 10 of all the projects because the place was special, the nature, the surrounding, the way of how light was actually mm -hmm. appearing, like being there in the summer and being there in the winter. So we actually saw both moments of uh, total 24-7 uh, um, daylight and then we had 24-7 almost all the time dark. Mm -hmm. So yeah. our uh, blue world. Yeah, we have yeah. beautiful pictures yeah. with our installation and the northern light. <laughs> you know, like it's, is this possible? Like two. things in our work is also to collaborate, not only um, the two of us, but also collaborate with other artists. We are also working with topics on different projects. And we really think it's, uh, the result is perfect. The light of the color, the contrast is really important and we really achieve this. So we really like to work with our compositions on different products or different techniques. Yeah, that's also a sort of a motor, like, okay, being curious of how could that turn out? Would it work or not? So not everything works. <laughs> 20 years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> sitting under. I think we will see, you will see us like sitting here in the next 30 years. <laughs> <laughs> Same.